Germany mass stabbing, three killed and four seriously injured at Diversity Festival. At least three people have been killed and four are seriously wounded, German police have said, after an attack at a festival in the city of Zollingen in the country's west on Friday night. Police said the weapon was believed to be a knife. No one has been arrested and police said they had deployed a large contingent, including a helicopter to search for the male assailant who fled the scene. Police declined to discuss a possible motive or speculate about the identity of the suspect. Federal Health Minister Karl Lauterbach said he hoped rescue teams can save the wounded who are still alive and that police can catch the cowardly and pathetic perpetrator, Regional Premier Hendrik Wust, who arrived at the scene early on Saturday posted earlier on X that all of North Rhine-Westphalia stands with the people in Zollingen, above all with the victims and their families, he said, expressing huge thanks to the many rescue workers and our police who are in these minutes fighting for people's lives. The attack happened at an event marking the city's 650th anniversary and billed as a festival of diversity that began on Friday and was supposed to run through to Sunday. Around 10,000 people attended, many gathering around a stage with live music on the Fraunhof Market Square in the city center. Most of those wounded are believed to have been attacked directly front of the stage, the Daily Build reported, adding that the man appeared to target the throats of his victims. A police spokesperson said emergency services had received several calls at about 9.30 p.m. with witnesses reporting that an unknown person armed with a knife wounded several people at random. Many witnesses are in a state of shock and are receiving care and giving their statements, he said. We hope to receive information about the assailant, particularly his appearance, so that we can make the manhunt more targeted. He said the information compiled so far was very thin. The local Solinger Tageblatt newspaper reported that authorities called on people to leave central Zollingen and that one of the festival organizers, Philip Muller, said on a stage that emergency workers were fighting for the lives of nine people. Rolling News Channel NTV showed a video of Muller asking the crowd not to panic and to be careful leaving the premises because the attacker was still at large. Witnesses said that people remained calm as they left the scene and media images later showed that the premises were empty apart from police and emergency vehicles. Armed officers were controlling the perimeter. Zollingen has about 160,000 inhabitants and is located near the bigger cities of Cologne and Dusseldorf. Mayor Tim Oliver Kurzbach said the city was in shock, horror and great sadness. We all wanted to celebrate our city's anniversary together and now we have to mourn the deaths and injuries, it breaks my heart that there was an attack on our city. I have tears in my eyes when I think of those we have lost. I pray for all those who are still fighting for their lives. I also have great sympathy with all the people who had to witness this, it must have been a terrible sight. I thank all the rescue and security forces for their efforts. I ask you, if you believe, to pray with me and if not, to hope with me. MP Serap Guler of the center-right CDU party called it terrible, horrible what happened in Zollingen. Above all I wish that the wounded victims of this terrible attack survive, and wish strength to their loved ones. Hopefully the perpetrator will be captured quickly. My thoughts are with all those who are on the scene, she posted on X. The attack occurred amid a heated political debate about rising knife violence in German cities. In May, German police shot and wounded a man who injured six people in a knife attack on a right wing demonstration in the southwestern city of Mannheim. Among the victims was a 29 year old policeman who intervened who was fatally stabbed.